Uh, we are doing a camera assessment of uh, some of our pipelines here. Actually, what we're doing today with the uh, robotic crawler is, is actually an inline inspection, but it's different than what we've normally heard of an inline inspection tool. This one is actually a robotic crawler that has two uh, high definition cameras mounted on it, one in the front and one in the rear. And we have the ability to move through the pipeline and assess the pipeline characteristics inside the pipe. Uh, we look for a few things, um, one of which is uh, we are assessing that internal long seam of the pipe. Um, we are looking at the uh, associated welds um, of the pipe as well, and then uh, any other anomalies that we may find uh, that uh, were unbeknownst to us that could have been caused through third party damage. Uh, they'd most certainly see kind of a large contingent of pg e vehicles, uh, most, uh, mostly at the excavation sites. Um, those would uh, be uh, very visible through either uh, the cones and the vehicles around, but they may also see some pg e personnel walking the streets. And the reason for that is we have uh, our trackers who are out on foot following the camera above grade um, and making sure that they are able to track and verify the position of the camera that goes through along the pipe. That way if we do note any uh, items of interest or any anomalies, then we can mark those for later excavation. As always, um, safety is you know, our, our biggest concern as it relates to our gas pipeline. So any of those issues that we come about, we uh, do a full evaluation of them uh, to the extent where we may actually remove pipe and uh, put in a new section. Uh, camera inspections will take on a total of uh, 35 miles and in doing that 35 miles there may be some that we use some other technologies to assess uh, and deal with the, the issues that we're looking for here. The, the camera assessment process is a very slow, uh, very tedious process and it's not uh, because of the things that we're looking for, it's the technology that we have. Um, it's very difficult to traverse the pipeline as it moves through uh, substructures in the street. Um, down and through canals, those types of things. It's a very difficult assessment to do. We are assessing a very specific uh, vintage and manufacturer of pipe uh, for those 35 miles that we are trying to uh, verify and assess prior to hydro test. Uh, I, I think the big takeaway is that uh, PG&E is committed to pipeline safety. We are continuing to evaluate our pipeline. We're continuing to uh, reevaluate sections that uh, are, are similar to those uh, of either vintage or manufacturer to San Bruno and we uh, continue an effort to cooperate with NTSB in the investigation and ensure the pipeline safety.